All yeah. right, so we move to this. You've seen it. It's the mugshot heard around the world. It's the mugshot of former President Donald Trump. That mugshot is making its way onto T-shirts, onto mugs, into campaign uh, fundraising. I said this on The Five yesterday. There's two different kinds of mugshots. There's sort of the sad sack mugshot mug of like uh, Bill Cosby or um, Tiger Woods. Mm -hmm. And then there's the mugshot of defiance. It's often seen in, in famous figures like Janis Joplin or uh, Jimi Hendrix or Frank Sinatra. What you're looking right there is at the second category. That is a mugshot of defiance. You know, a lot of people online have pointed out, it looks, he looks kind of like a bald eagle. Yeah, I saw the I saw the picture. We should put that up. I sent that to our producer. There's a picture of him next to a bald eagle that's kind of looking down. And listen, this is an iconic. This is this is becoming not just pop culture. It's becoming. We iconic. can't know how it will be used. I believe but it will be. He knew the moment that picture was taken. It was for not just the moment for the history books, and it will take on a life of its own. Yes, it will. Both for supporters who are galvanized by it and also by his detractors who've been wanting this photo since he came down the escalator. Uh, and one guy who's been pretending like he's seeing none of this, orchestrating none of it, behind none of it, not wanting to comment on any of it, his press secretary can't talk about it, is Joe Biden. Well, he is on vacation, as he almost always is these days, in Tahoe, California. And he came shuffling out and was asked about whether he'd seen that mugshot. And to a chorus of boos, it f seems his popular unpopularity has even made its way all the way out to California. This is what he had to say about it. Have you seen Donald Trump's mugshot yet? Mr. President, how do you want to know? I did see it on television. What do you think? Handsome guy. I mean, just the irony, the guy who should be in a mugshot, Joe Biden, who sold out his country to enrich his family, um, who's gotten us into, you know, this situation in Ukraine, and now we have a, a prosecutor, Shokin, and a blockbuster interview that will air tonight on Brian Kilmeade's show, um, saying, yeah, uh, you guys are in the Ukraine war partially because of these dirty deals that were being made by Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. Certainly we can say that um, the money that we keep shoveling over there has a lot to do with it. Um, this mugshot will, you rightly said, is a look of defiance and anybody in America who has felt um, that they, that this government, that this deep state is being weaponized against them. Um, anybody who feels like they've been censored, that they've been surveilled in their Catholic church, uh, protesters for, for the pro-life cause who have been, you know, uh, taken down in their homes in front of their children. Um, anybody who has a different opinion, a different point of view, if you consider yourself a dissident in your own country, um, this mugshot gives you chills, and it is a rallying call. Uh, you know, I'm glad Joe Biden kind of chuckled. I'm glad he was sarcastic and said, wonderful guy, handsome guy. It's, it's better than the, the, the pretense that so many on the left want to play. This is such a sad, serious day. I, ne I never, never wanted to see this. Of course you wanted to see this. This is exactly what you've pursued. It's what Joe Biden said had to happen. We've got to stop him. He'll never be president of the United States. Mm -hmm. Well, three prosecutors agree. One down in Georgia, one here in New York, and a special prosecutor in Washington, D.C. And they're willing to gather whatever shred of nonsense they can. All, all of which has been at some level discredited or is l allowed in this free country mm -hmm. to prosecute a political opponent. So I'm glad he's laughing because if you watch other channels, this is, you know, this is a great day. They're, they're excited about this. Justice will be served against Donald Trump. How dare he attempt to take on the system? And it should only motivate anyone who truly loves the justice system in this process, who believes in America, and it will increase his, his numbers inside the Republican primary and make him the nominee. So we'll get the showdown yeah. America deserves. The bug shot's already backfiring on that. Only Fannie Willis of those prosecutors, only Fannie Willis down in Georgia, was the one delivering on their desire for a mugshot. Yeah. Nicole Parker, who's a former FBI special agent, had this to say about her decision to pursue the mugshot. The politicization of the criminal justice system is just not acceptable. This is a county district attorney. Fourth indictment, and now you're seeing a mugshot. Why is it that out of four indictments, 
the fourth one, now you're seeing the mugshot. It appears that this is for political reasons, that this is a claim to fame for her, and that she had campaigned on going after President Trump. That is extremely dangerous. That is not what the purpose of the criminal justice system is for. Those of us that were out there truly fighting crime, it is necessary to have the support and trust of the American people. And when you abuse it and go after your political opponents on the eve of an election, it ruins it for everybody. The whole purpose um, behind the Democrat Party since the moment um, Donald Trump won was to separate, even actually when since he came down the escalators, was to separate Donald Trump from his supporters and, and using the media, the Hollywood, big tech, whatever they could to make people embarrassed to support Donald Trump, embarrassed to put out a sign in front. I um, mean, we saw so many people who wouldn't even tell pollsters that they were voting for Donald Trump until, you know, we, he won. And then they said, oh, well, there were a lot of silent Trump voters. This mugshot um, was about trying to embarrass Republicans again um, and conservatives into supporting Donald Trump. And this is just not working. With each indictment, his support has increased. And I believe that this mugshot um, is actually the end of the primary. Everyone is gathering around because they realize that Donald Trump is a stand in for them. Most establishment Republicans are embarrassed. And, you know, I don't. I like Ron DeSantis as the governor of Florida. I have yes, no beef I with him. Too. But it's ultimately, he's running against a wall. And so the day that Donald Trump is getting indicted, he's playing baseball at the Field of Dreams and unwilling to comment on it. That's not going to cut it in this moment. At least Vivek Ramaswamy is way able to, willing to come out and say, here's, here's why it's an injustice. Um, I'll pardon the guy. That, that's why his numbers are rising. And most people in Washington unwilling to take the strong stance, too. There are some congressmen on the Republican side who are doing a nice job with their committees. There ought to be more of it, and I think there's going to be more of an outcry for that. One of the things I really I learned when Sean was in Congress is just how powerful that bubble is in D.C., and I just think that so many of these leaders just don't understand, as you said, the moment. The moment. They the don't moment. get how people are really viscerally feeling about this.